What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Season of Dawn video and today's video, I'll be going over a Curse of Osiris weapon that has come back with Season of Dawn called the Traveler's Judgment 5. Now how to obtain this weapon, you can actually get it from the legendary time lost weapon bounties, I believe it is on Nessus, and basically you just have to complete the objective and you can get this sidearm to drop for you. Going over the two rolls that I have, this is my PvE one, obviously a Desert Frame, Roll Rounded, Reliable, and Fires 3 Round Burst. Next we have Quick Dot, SAS, and then Short Spec, one with Short Spec for more zoom. Uh, armor Piercing, and Ricochet, Ricochet is always the best option in general. Then we have Firmly Planted, Increase Accuracy, Stability, and Handling when firing while crouched. And then it comes with Dragonfly, which is interesting. Precision, Kills, Generate, and Elemental Damage Explosion, and I put a Dragonfly spec on it for that extra damage because I am using it in PvE, so I want to be able to do big damage to all those minor adds with this thing. This is my PvP roll, obviously adaptive frame, roll rounded, reliable, fires three round burst, short spec, and then far point. Went with far point for again more range. It is a sidearm, so having more range is always going to be better. Next, armor piercing high cow. Went with high cow uh, for that extra flinch factor. Uh, rapid hit, which is the first trait. Uh, rapid precision hits, temporarily increased stability and reload speed, and then comes with tap to trigger, grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on the initial trigger pull went with a backup mag on it for uh uh pvp just so i can you know be able to if so i don't have to reload as often i i suppose if i'm going to get into an engagement and there's two enemies i won't have to reload this thing and it does come with a range mass work so this is probably one of the better stable rolls when it comes to a uh, god roll for this sidearm first up going over pve I think right now with especially the update to just sidearms all around the board, sidearms are like extremely underrated. I'm hoping in the next season we'll be able to get some of these seasonal uh, artifacts with the anti-barrier rounds or the disrupt rounds or unstoppable rounds on sidearms because sidearms are actually very, very fun to use. I know that using the buzzard is freaking amazing with Swashbuckler, especially in PvE. You can get a god roll breach light and this sidearm you can actually get a pretty solid roll on. I'm actually going to whip out the uh, perks that it can come with. So the main thing I want to focus on with this is the trait column perks, because obviously with the site, it's not going to really matter that much in PvE. Magazine-wise, I think obviously everybody wants to go with High Cal, uh, Ricochet, and then maybe something like if you want to use Extended Mag, make sure you have perks that allow you to have a fast reload, which includes Rapid Hit or Feeding Frenzy in trait column number one, or you can use Auto Loading Holster as well if you want to holster the weapon, have it auto reload, that's great. Uh, there's not a lot of damage dealing perks on this other than Surrounded, which you have to be surrounded by three or more enemies, and you can toss on a Surrounded spec which will make it a last a longer do a little more damage which is fine and then i guess the other one would be dragonfly that's another uh damage perk um in general like there aren't really a lot of great i would say pve oriented perks on the sidearm but you can probably get like a solid roll especially if you're going to be doing like a cqc you could do feeding frenzy with surrounded that's always a great combo i'm pretty sure i have uh, i I wanted to get that, but I ended up getting surrounded in like a different perk, and I was like, I don't want to use that. I'm going to wait till I get a Feeding Frenzy surrounded roll. Um, but in general, I think, you know, sidearms feel pretty great, especially in PvE if you're going to be doing the, you know, close, in, close quarters encounters like 99% of the time. Like, this thing can do, do some work. Next, going over PvP, as I mentioned, like sidearms gotten a really nice just like buff in general, especially for this season. And as I mentioned, there really aren't a lot of damage dealing ones, so... I guess the main thing that you're going to want to try for is, you know, try to get max range on this thing, which means the most, the max range sight, uh, ricochet rounds or high caliber rounds, one of those two uh, would be good. Uh, I think I really do like rapid hit. Uh, it would make a little more sense to have feeding frenzy if you had something like kill clip uh, for in trait comm number two, but you don't. So I would say rapid hit because you're probably going to want to opt for stability. Uh, rapid hit trade comp number one firmly the panda wouldn't be bad either uh auto link holster again wouldn't be horrible but i think the main one would be rapid hit trade comp number two i think tap to trigger and head seeker are the top two considering with rapid hit the whole goal is to actually hit precision hits tap to trigger will be able to let you hit precision hits which gives you faster reload and more stability uh right off the bat and then head seeker if you're going to be like shooting near the chest of the head anyway it's going to have vertical recoil regardless it is three round burst like you're going to be hitting the head so having that extra damage when you hit a precision shot is also going to help with your ttk and in general i think for pvp i really like this thing um i think everybody really likes the three round burst anything like last hope last dance those two omelon ones and then this one i think the three round burst sidearms probably perform the best out of all of them Currently, I know a lot of people are using Breach Light because it is two round burst and it has a lot of range, um, but definitely try out Traveler's Judgment. I had a really good time with it. Quickly covering Gambit, 
Uh, I understand, as I said, there's not really great uh, PvE perks on this thing, but since you are going to be running around uh, very close to enemies, something with Surrounded and Feeding Frenzy wouldn't be bad uh, for PvE. I think the problem on the PvP side is that it is a sidearm and most of the engagements are long distance. People are going to be using rockets, machine guns, snipers, scouts, linear fusions, etc, etc. So I think maybe stick with the PvE side of things in Gambit with this sidearm, but again, I think there are a lot better weapons that are catered more towards Gambit. Just going over some exotics and perks, I would say the only exotic that would make this thing like even better is Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves. I understand uh, they had like a small change, I believe, but essentially if you get weak and you switch to a sidearm, your sidearm does more damage. So if you have something like, you know, as with this sidearm specifically, if you have Surrounded plus the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeve damage perk, you can do really great damage in PvE, be able to shred down um, you know, majors even faster. Obviously, you can shred down minors easily, but being able to shred down those majors even faster with the extra damage is good. Especially if you have a build to where you're weak constantly and you're always switching to your sidearm, you're going to be able to put out a lot of great DPS. Going over my final thoughts, again, as I said, sidearms have, like, they have, they, they are one of the best weapons to be using in both PvE and PvP currently. If you haven't tested out sidearms, definitely test out a bunch of sidearms and Figure out which one uh, that you feel is the best for your play style, really. Uh, I've been using the Buzzard a lot. I haven't really done a lot with Breach Light, even though it does have a lot of range. I do like Traveler's Judgment just because the uh, accuracy and stability part of it. So uh, definitely find a sidearm that you like. All right, guys, looks like we're at the end of the video. Just wanted to cover three things with you. Number one, about support. If you're looking for the number one best way to support me, there's a link below that'll take you to a four minute video that I made a while ago. If you wanna go watch that, that'd be awesome. If not, it's definitely not gonna hurt my feelings. You can also subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, follow me on social media with the links below and all that great jazz. Number two, regarding social media, I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and and a few others. If you would like to keep up to date on Destiny 2 related content, be sure to use those links below to find me on those platforms. And number three, going over the clan, if you're looking to join my clan, we have some spots open uh, on all platforms. We're looking for active players and community members in the Destiny community. And typically we like to play casual PvE and PvP a majority of the time. I'm definitely all about that solo grind, but I'm willing to definitely play with people in the community, like definitely willing to do that. If you're looking to join, there's a link to the clan page on the bungie.net site below and all you have to do is request to join and I'll approve it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you next time.